when Gary Moore failed so badly against uh, uh, Bonanza the next year, Sunday night, that really left a huge gap in CBS's Sunday night lineup. And Gary Moore had a great career. And I felt so sorry for him. He was so sweet to us. <laughs> had us on his show, took us sailing and stuff. And he just the show just wasn't there. So they, they It was a variety show. It was a variety slot. They wanted it following Ed Sullivan. And they said, we'll give you 13 weeks, ironclad. And Tommy said, well, we want to have a show be relevant. We want to have it you know, re relate to the times and stuff. And they said, sure, because they figured it was a suicide spot. I said I wanted creative control. Oh, you got it. You got, you know, they'll be gone in a minute. <laughs> you got it. That was because of the experience with the sitcom, because I had no control. Yeah. I didn't have anybody to, uh, had no control who the writers were. If we brought in ideas, they dismissed them. Yeah. I brought in Pat Paulson. I said, he'd be a great character. And I said, oh, yeah, bring him in. They let him do a walkthrough. Yeah. And I couldn't contribute in a creative uh, way. So when they offered us this mid-season replacement, and part of the condition was I knew we were going to go not make it. And so I want creative control for writers and stuff. And so they said, yeah. And, um, but the whole point is just a classic <clears throat> example of how a negative is essential for the positive. You know, without that, you would not have been near as strong. <clears throat> no, the show would have been... Uh, we would have lost uh, our momentum or anything yeah. at the start. And for the three years we had, the show was... Uh, we worked from that understanding, and I could hire and fire writers and directors and uh, producers and change things. And um, uh, we had the choice of our guests. The networks would suggest all their, their people. In the beginning, we were just, the beginning of the season, we just let every, they put the package together. And I had, Mason Williams, was he on it from the beginning? Mm -hmm. Mason Williams was a writer we, I, that I brought and said, yeah. And they did most of the booking of the uh, classic um, Jim Neighbors and all these different people that had shows on CBS. So it's an advertising medium for their lineup, too. That's what it used to be. So but it, it, we had a, a hand in it. And uh, I think that's why it wasn't, quote, smothered by uh, what we call the, the network uh, meddling. It had Tommy's personality on it content of the show then he hired in the writers there was no writers except a couple cbs insisted on that were on, or they were over 30 they're 30 years old i mean they were when the last year we had rob reiner and steve martin and steve was like 21 and, and bob einstein was 21 yeah and uh, they, so you had the passions of the youth and uh, unfettered by uh big stacks of un unbought comedy material that's been rejected for 10 years. So, you know, writers just bring out the old stuff and change a few things and submit it. Eventually it gets bought. But we had guys who hadn't done anything. So that's why there was an offbeat sense to the show. And you wanted that right from the beginning? Well, I just wanted to be able to do sketches that have, had a little relevant. more uh, content to it. I think we I were thought it was just thoughtless, we were, yeah. thoughtless comedy. I, I, I didn't like that. Yeah, it's like... It wasn't political. It wasn't socially conscious. It just should have some reason for it. I didn't want it to be vacuous comedy. I think they saw that we could work with these, the Betty Davises and, and that sort of thing. And, 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 and in deference to us, they, they, since we were younger, the rock groups of, of that time were kind of brought on in the contemporary thing. So it was a pretty interesting mix of being a, uh, and that wasn't premeditated on my part at all. I would just, that just, yeah. There was a lot of people put on a lot of effort in that show, but the point of difference was that we had a, we had a, a little bit of control. I think that was the difference why the sh it show. It was a neat thing. We, because we were the hosts and we we helped tie all the pieces together. Tom was really right. He says, if we had a great show, they people would say, boy, the Smothers Brothers were really great last night. It wasn't even us. <laughs> <laughs> it was our show. You know, it's like, was it uh, Jerry Seinfeld? You know, he was like voted the fourth most popular person on his own show, but he got all the money. <laughs> <laughs> boy, Jerry Pine, he was really funny last night. You know, you get the credit. But he also had the uh, the intuitiveness to, to somehow... Well, Tommy would spend long hours with the writers. You know, he, he brought them together. But they became greater than their individual parts. And that's when it's magic. 